Welcome back to Andy's Guides. In today's video, we are going to show you how to quickly connect to Trello to Jira. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time in Jira, I need you to click the sign up option. And from here, just follow the on screen instructions and you're good to go. Connecting Trello to Jira allows you to seamlessly manage tasks and projects across both platforms, making it easier to coordinate work between teams that might be using different tools. Now, the Trello Jira Power Up is the easiest and quickest way to connect Trello to Jira because it will allow you to link Trello cards to Jira issues and view Jira issue details directly here in Trello. Now, if you are already logged into Trello, I want you to go to the Power Apps uh, section at the top. You see, you can bring additional features to your board and integrate apps. Click the Add Power Apps button. There's going to be an option for you to look for the Jira. Should be around here. If you can't find it, well, all you're going to do is go to the search bar and type in Jira. Now, you have two options. Matter of fact, you have a lot of options. Number one is the, the uh, Jira plus Trello two-way sync, wherein you can sync Trello cards to Jira issues with real-time two-way updates automatically. You can also add the Jira eliminate contact switching and ensures every member of your team is always on the same page. In my case, I'm going to be using the Jira plus Trello two-way sync, but it's up to you, right? It's before it's paid but right now they have collaborated so um jira is free using the trello okay click that and click add now what will happen is you would be forwarded here and just um authenticate these apps and click on save and you're going to be able to do that here on trello right now after that click on x now another option is go again to the power ups Okay, so you have uh, the uh, Jira plus two-way settings. When you click on this one right here, you can see that these are going to be your uh, automation. But I wanted to do is go again to the power ups because we're going to add the Jira. Type in Jira. This one. I'm just exploring both options, all right? Click on settings and click on edit power up settings. Now you are connected to Jira. So there are no Jira's link to Trello. You can add one by clicking on the button below. Click on this orange button. All I'm going to do is authorize both platforms. In order to connect Trello Jira, you will need to provide your Jira URL, which we're going to do with that. Okay. I'm switching over to my Jira account. Okay. So this is going to be my Jira account. All I'm going to do is go to the URL. Now, once I've done that, all I'm going to do is click on the button, connect to Jira. Just wait for it because Trello is connected to your Jira account. All right. And once you authorize this, just follow the prompts to sign in and authorize access. And of course, just click on authorize. And once configured, you can activate the workflow to start syncing data between Trello and Jira automatically. All right. Now, when you go to a specific card right here, for example, this one, you would be able to have the Jira power ups here on this side, all right? And again, from here, ensure that you have the necessary permissions in both Trello and Jira to connect and sync data. Of course, you can decide whether is it going to be a one way, like for Jira, or two way syncing between Trello and Jira based on your workflow requirements. You can, of course, at attach a recent issue or create an issue from this card by clicking on connect to this account all right you see it's very easy you can you uh, choose from task or epic i'm going to choose the task for now and there you go as you can see you have already used this method to customize the integration as you can see that to match your specific needs such as syncing specific fields lists or issue types okay now the other platform that i wanted to suggest is using zapier now here you can connect jira software cloud to trello and automate your work and have all these endless possibilities by clicking the orange button to connect these apps all they're gonna do is click that 
and this is going to be your first zap you can rename that of course and you just have to choose the event for example for jira you can select an event like it triggers when a new comment is added to an issue or it triggers when an issue is created it's up to you depending on your specific needs or requirements in my case i'm going to be creating a new issue it's added that matches some jql and for the trello all i'm going to do is choose an event for example uh, add attachment to a card or adds a new or existing checklist to a card so you can do both now what i need you to do is click on continue and you need to click on sign in once you've done that obviously you just have to connect all these apps right here and click on continue and you can choose a value for the board all right there's a lot that you can work with and then from there maybe around here how to remove member from Trello board and enter all of these um information and then just follow the on-screen instructions and you can sit back and relax because zapier will do all the work for you all right now the last platform that we are going to use is from jira okay now in my case go to apps and click on the explore more apps and obviously we're looking for trello type in trello press enter and from there you would have all these um, options you can use embed trello for jira you can have integration for jira and trello two-way integration i'm going to be using this one the cloud fortified And all I'm going to do is try it for free, all right? It's zero dollars per month. And after that, there's going to be a 30 day free trial. And similarly, via the uh, Trello, it's a two way sync, all right? So you have all these perks and benefits. And as you can see, by connecting both of these platforms, you can greatly improve the efficiency and the effectiveness of your project management processes, making it easier to handle complex projects collaborate across teams and maintain a clear overview of all tasks and issues because everyone involved in a project can see what's happening for both trello and jira which i believe enhances transparency and ensures that all part of the project improves the accountability by connecting tasks and issues i believe it becomes clearer who is responsible for what across the team if you're especially for working with multiple freelancers and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you in the next one